I don't have to take anything that is already mine. I don't have to take anything that is already mine. I don't have to take anything that's already mine. And I feel like that is just so powerful. I literally want to like, I'm not even gonna say what I want to do, but that phrase is so powerful. I want it forever to remember it forever because it's true. Like, cause I found myself in a time where I was just taking a bunch of stuff, right? Take that as you will. Taking a bunch of stuff that necessarily, I guess, I don't even, I'm not gonna speak on it too much, but you know, I realized I don't have to take anything, like take it meaning like, I don't have to finesse it or get it by other means if it's already mine. So like anything that's really meant for me, anything that's for me, I don't have to take it. And that can be applied to anything. Like it can be applied to relationships, for instance, like if that's really supposed to be a partner, you don't have to take them. You don't have to take them, chase them. You don't have to film. You don't have to take them from anyone else. You don't have to do anything like that. Cause yeah, I was just, I realized I was just in a very taker, taker, taker mentality. But it's like, when I stopped doing that, everything that's really meant for me is in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like all the stuff that's meaningful and that actually is meant for me, I didn't have to, I didn't have to take it. It like appeared or God just gave me the means to get it or it just, yeah, it just came into my life. So take this, take this with heed y'all. If you have to take it, it's not meant for you. I promise you, if you have to take it, it is not meant for you. And this is honestly, a more more spiritual than anything this is just on my behalf i'm not talking for y'all because we're all on different journeys but i've learned that for me i don't have to take anything that's already mine if i go to the store and i see something that i want doesn't mean it doesn't mean I, I need it if i'm in the world and i see something i want it doesn't mean i need it because a lot of the times we confuse i confuse my wants and my needs i'll go to the store and i'll want to get some food that's probably not going to nourish my body in the way it needs to be nourished that day and time in that moment i want it but do i need it no and i just had to ask myself that question before i do things anymore even like flesh things like whether it be sex food money things items like, okay, yeah, you want that, but do you need, does you, does your body need that in that time? Is that going to help you grow spiritually, physically, mentally, whatever, you know? And I'm not saying that I'm never going off once, because I do, but it's way more subtle now to where it's like, oh, I want a blueberry muffin. And I make sure I have everything else in check, you know? I've already nourished my body for the day. I'm gonna eat the blueberry muffin. But it's like, I just I had just woken up to today, right? I got a pack of six um, blueberry muffins from Sam's Club. Cause I had just been wanting a blueberry muffin from like a, something, a baked good from like Costco or Sam's Club. So I ended up going to Sam's Club and I got six blueberry muffins. And I ate one last night. Cause I just, I, that's why I went to the store to eat one. So I made sure throughout the day that I, I I ate what I needed to so that I could eat that blueberry muffin. So I think I, I'll tell you what I ate just cause. So like I ate, I woke up and I had eggs, what did I eat? But I don't even know. I know I ate a chicken salad. Oh, I ate chicken and rice. Like chicken, chicken, salmon, rice, veggies or broccoli. And then after that I had like a couple handfuls of Doritos, I'm not gonna cap. Um, Cause I was out shopping and I had some Doritos, like a couple handfuls of Doritos, just to smack on. Then I came home and I ate a chicken salad. And then after the chicken salad, what did I eat after the chicken? Oh, after the chicken salad, I ate salmon and rice. And then after the salmon rice, salmon rice, zucchini, squash, mushrooms, red bell peppers. And then after that, I ate the blueberry muffin. So 
I ate the blueberry muffin because I was like, all right, bro. I thought about it. I want the blueberry muffin, but I was like, do I need it? And I was like, yeah, I can use it. I can use this blueberry muffin because I had already hit everything else, like my protein goals. I had gotten enough food in, like nutritious food, so I could. The blueberry, the blueberry muffin is valid. So then I woke up today, and me knowing I have six, five blueberry muffins now because I ate one. If Johnny had six blueberry muffins and he ate one, how many? <laughs> type deal but I, so i ate one yesterday <laughs> so i have five left right and i woke up today and i was like hmm, i want a blueberry muffin and all i had drank was coconut water this was like 11 a.m and i was like okay um i want this blueberry muffin right now right i was like oh coffee and, and blueberry muffin sounds delicious like coffee and a baked good stop playing with me but i was like okay christian you just and this was after I did the fasted workout, I did some other stuff. And I was like, do you want this blueberry muffin? But do you need this blueberry muffin? No, because I had a meeting too coming up after and I was like, dude, all I'm gonna have on my stomach is a blueberry muffin and coffee. That sounds like I'm gonna be off, like tweaking or something like sugar, sugar high and a caffeine high, no thanks. And I was like, your body does not need a blueberry muffin right now. Your body needs some salmon, rice, and veggies. And I ate that, and I feel good. I had energy to go do what I was going to do. And I was like, okay. Not that I'm not going to eat the blueberry muffin, but uh, it's about... I was like, okay. You had it for a dinner, like a dessert last night. Today, you can have it for a midday snack. I'm going to eat it. Use the carbs to, you know, come back out here again. Do something. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all about... I don't know how this turned into me talking about a blueberry muffin, but... Actually, I do because it's about wants and needs and just knowing when to indulge and the time and place. Everything has a time and place, I feel like, because a lot of the times we want things right now, but we don't need them right now. Like, yeah, I may want that, and that's fine to want it. It's, if anything, is motivation to get the other stuff that you need to get done in your life or your day done. But if you just got it right then and there, that's like there's no delayed gratification, bro at all like if i were to just eat that blueberry muffin i didn't even work for it for real like i didn't not that you have to earn food but like in my head that's how i like to work is i'm like to feel good and not feel guilty about eating a, a big blueberry muffin i need to place it in a time and place that's not going to make me feel guilty about eating that or no nah, not just about the blueberry muffin but this is in general bro like just life um yeah just remember, Christian, you don't have to take anything that's already yours. Like, everything that's meant for me is already going to show up in my life. Nothing can sabotage that. Well, I can sabotage that, but I'm not. And, yeah. Thank you for listening to me talk about blueberry muffins and <laughs> when I decide to eat my blueberry muffins. But, yeah. Um, hope y'all get the... Yeah. not even analogy but just the whole story behind it because yeah a lot of the things that we do it's really deeper than just wanting it it's like we gotta delay gratification sometimes bro like because it'll smack way harder like you know if you want to go relieve yourself you want to go i don't know have sex or something ask yourself do i need to have sex right now and then when you end up waiting you'd be so much more fired like i'd be like dang do i need to eat pizza right now nah and then i'll wait and then I'll get it and I'll be like, oh my goodness, this this pizza is absolutely fire. I think I've clarified my points enough. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, actually, let's end this off on, I have to do two more of these. So again, it is a 45 pound plate and a 25, oh my gosh, 45 and a 25 45 and a 45 pound bar so let's do the math 45 times 2 is 90 plus another 40 pounds would be 130 plus 50 is 180 so i think it's 180 or 185 so we're gonna bench 180 185 eventually we're gonna get to 225 i've never hit the 200s so we're working our way there but i feel like it's literally just a game of stress like you just have to get your your muscles used to feeling that much weight on you, you know? So. Dude, I wanna cut my hair, bro. Yeah.
All right, let's run it. get it and y'all take into consideration well i'm getting taken into consideration what i just hit is 50 pounds more than what i would usually hit so i just randomly <laughs> added 50 pounds on to my bench because i was just doing 45 pound plates on like 145 pound plate on each side and i was doing that for the last couple days and i was like today i'm gonna throw 25s on each side which equates to 50, because 25 times two equates to 50. So, I love the sun. <laughs>